Uh, my name is Manuela Navo. I'm from Ars Electronica in Linz, Austria. And we are presenting here some outstanding projects from artists, innovators, uh, creative technologies, creative engineers. Um, yeah. And I'm Gerfried Stocker. I'm the artistic director of Ars Electronica because Ars Electronica is not just doing shows like this. We have a broad range of activities. We are an art and cultural organization, but also education, research and development is very important. And so IDU is just a perfect environment for us to challenge a little bit the notion of how can we use new technologies to make the world a better place. It has a little bit of, it, of uh, history already. So the collaboration between ITU uh, started already last year, actually, for the, um, for the presentation in Bangkok. So we already brought in some artists, and ITU brought in some innovators, and we brought them together. And we figured out that this uh, coming together of the Young Innovators competition from ITU and the artists and innovators that we have in our network uh, worked out very well and we continued then for the festival Ars Electronica where we collaborated on a format, on a totally new format uh, that we established together, ITU, Ars Electronica and Haku Odo, a Japanese um, advertising company. And this was the Future Innovator Summit. And as the title says, Future Innovators, this is actually what is uh, the most interesting area for us in this collaboration. We are very interested in seeing how creative ideas and new technologies can come together to have an impact on society. And I think in an environment where it's so much about the industry and the business, it's really necessary and strongly needed to showcase these very inspiring ideas of new applications of understanding technology as a tool for people and not just as a product that you can sell. And this is something where we found a really uh, good and strong alliance with the ITU because also here at this conference, at the end, it's about developing the world of tomorrow and to see how we can use this creativity from the artists as well as the engineers to achieve this goal. The main topic that we actually focus on is the thinking in alternatives. So all the projects that we have collected here, which is actually some kind of artifacts or reliques out of processes that are long-term processes mostly. And, um, and they, all the, the inventors of these processes have a special way in how they think. And this alternative way of thinking we found very inspiring uh, to show also uh, to the people here at ITU. And so to say there's four big categories that we can somehow frame the works. On the one hand, there is uh, works that have a very social approach, a very approach in how we can create a better living together, a better situation in living together. The second approach would be the topic of sustainable environment and recycling uh, in particular because there is new ways in how we could use what is already here and how are these creative people are actually using this in combination with technology. The third part is uh, something like we can see here is like this design with a special concern. So it's not only about design, it's more about design with a special concern and it's most is with a social aspect. And the fourth part is a part where we have always this kind of smiling in the face because it's coming from the artists that have this very utopian way in seeing things that confront us in a, in a, in a, in a, with a notion that we are even not uh, thinking about. But in their way, in uh, thinking about the future, we are totally blown away and just think, well, then let's think about it in this way. And this rethinking this kind of system so that we are in, so we say these are the four main categories we can sum up. 
Well, already last year it has been overwhelming for us because uh, it is a rather unusual environment for showcasing this kind of projects with the artistic background, with this uh, sometimes low-tech prototyping alternative technology approach. But it's really great to see that people who come straight from the business or from governmental uh, uh, organizations, when they see this inspiring and sometimes also funny and entertaining ideas, they really, I think they get it. And it makes a little click. And we spend a lot of time here explaining to people, discussing, and almost every time you show the project, you explain it, and then they start to have their own ideas. And we are involved in a, in a really inspiring discussion.